For Green Day's holiday, we are going to play the intro and the verses, which means we're going to play the part where they start singing. Now, uh, the intro's got two halves. Um, I'll play it for you now. Now that, of course, is all done on electric guitar, but today we'll be demonstrating it on the acoustic. Uh, first chord is an F minor, so we're going to go to the 8th fret, 5th string with the first finger. We're going to do the 10th fret on the 4th and 3rd string, and then we're going to do the 9th fret on the 2nd string, just like so. So we're going to not hit the top string, we're going to stay on these set of strings for this first part. Then we're going to stay on the same set, we're going to bring the first finger all the way down to the 4th fret, and then we're going to bar actually the the 6th fret on the 4th, 3rd, and 2nd string. So it's going to be a little bit of a different kind of chord than the first one. We're going to keep that position, take the 1st finger all the way to the 11th fret, and this 3rd finger all the way down to the 13th, same set of strings. And again, slide all the way back to the 6th fret with the 1st finger, and the 8th fret with these three. Remember, we're still doing this 5th string, and then the 4th, 2nd, and 3rd. So it just looks like this. So, using the 1st finger as an indicator, we're going to go 8th fret, 4th fret, 11th fret, and then 6th fret. And the second half is going to be starting right here with 1st finger, 1st fret, 6th string. So we're going to change the set of strings here for a minute. And then we're going to do 3rd fret for the 5th and 4th string, and then we're going to bar the rest. So this finger's not going to be doing anything. And then we're going to go back to this 4th fret, just like before, right? make this 4th fret power chord what we call a C sharp or D flat power chord and then we're going to go up a set of strings and we're going to do this uh, G sharp A flat power chord and what that is is that's 1st finger 4th fret 6th string and then 6th fret on the 5th and 4th strings and then on the 3rd string we're going to go to the 5th fret and then we're going to go back to the 6th fret for that other chord that we've already done so we're going to say, change strings, now we're on the 5th string, so we've got this chord, the F minor. That's the second half of the intro, but it's also part of the verses. Now moving on, when they start singing, same chords. power chord, which is 3rd fret, 5th string, and then 5th um, fret, 4th, 2nd, 3rd. So it makes sense. So if we're singing... Pretty far, and then we'll work on the course next. 